You're now watching Motivation Daily. Let's get tuned in. Hey, what's up? You're rocking with D-Man. And today I'm talking about don't crack. And like you're gonna go through all types of situations that might seem very difficult, hard, tough. You'll question, why am I going through this? What did I do to deserve this? Why me? It's gonna be hard at times, but you have to learn not to break. You have to learn not to crack, lose yourself and get frustrated or let that certain situation overwhelm you and be like, ah, and just lose your mind. It's very hard. It's easier said than done, but it's worth it. I feel like in life we will go through certain tests or situations that are actually preparing us for more things we got ahead of us. So we have to learn how to keep our cool and nobody's exempt from it. People will go through certain things that, you know, they'll be frustrated. You could be doing whatever and certain things will come your way and you'll question, why me? Why me? You know, but you have to learn how to keep your cool. You have to learn not to let your emotions overwhelm that situation or overwhelm you in the process of going through that. You understand what I'm saying? So this is what happened. I was driving and the car I was driving broke down on me. I was like, why did this happen? You know, because my car recently broke down a couple weeks ago. So I was like, why did this happen? Like, what's going on? You know, and it was kind of frustrating because I'm over here working and I'm driving, doing my thing. And the next thing you know, the car just breaks down. And I'm just like, oh. So I'm just there sitting down. So I asked somebody, hey, can I get a jump? The person was like, no, nah, I'm sorry, I'm working. Okay. I asked another guy. The guy said, okay, I got you. Gave me a jump. I was so happy. I was like, thank you. I appreciate it. So immediately this person gave me that jump that I needed. I didn't know the car went off again. So the car went off again. And by this time, I'd already taken off the jumper cables because it started, you know, but I didn't know it was going to cut off. So it cut off and that person had already gone. You know, I was like, thank you. He had already left. So I was just like, ah, so I was stuck again. I asked another person, hey, can I get a jump? The person looked at me in my face and said, no. I was just like, okay, you know. Some people will, you know, try to be mean to you or be rude to you and see you, you know, react and want to get an expression out of you. I want you to say certain things that will, you know, make you just, you know, lose character or just see you upset. You can't always respond to that. I mean, everybody's not going to say yes. Everybody's not going to appreciate you. Everybody's not going to like you. So you just have to understand that that comes with the game. It comes with life. That's just how it is. So people were just passing me. You know, my people are calling me trying to make sure I'm okay. Like, yo, are you all right? You know, I'm like, I'm good. You know, it's kind of irritating. It's frustrating. I didn't like it. In that moment, I could have easily said, man, what is this? And snapped and been angry. But that wouldn't have changed the situation. It wouldn't have changed the fact that the car wasn't going to move. And if I'm angry and, or I'm reacting, I'm overreacting, I'm just upset, I'm acting some type of way, I'm not going to want to have anybody help me because I'm frustrated in that moment. And people don't need to see me like that, you understand what I'm saying? So I just had to calm down and try to find help. So some moments I just sat back and then some moments I would ask people. So I asked this young lady, I said, excuse me, miss, do you mind helping me, you know, jump my car? Very nice, very polite, she helped me. In the process, it got to one point, you know, we did it one time, the car came on, then it went off again. She parked her car. Then she came back again when she seen my car was off and helped me and stayed there. We were together for maybe 10 to 15 minutes. She helped me. She didn't have to do that. She was doing her own thing, but I asked her for help and she gave me that guidance. She gave me that help I needed. And we were just there trying to figure it out and see if we can get the car to start. So, in the process of us doing it, you know sometimes when you're applying the jumper cables, you know, you don't want them to touch because it can cause a big spark and you want to avoid that. So, I had plugged it to her car and I plugged both to my car, but in the process of me taking the other um, plugs to her battery, I was like, oh, let me take one off mine. So, I took one off mine and I put both on hers and we were just trying to jump the car, but I forgot I removed one of the plugs. I removed the negative plug. So we were there for like five minutes. She was like pressing the gas and I tried to put on the car and it didn't work. And something was like, uh oh, you forgot to put the negative plug back on your battery. So I went back and I put it on. The lady was nice. She still had patience. She helped me out. So we were there for another five minutes when we got everything under control and the car started. And she said, hey, if you need me again, let me know. 
that's unmerited favor. In the process of going through certain things that you don't like, you have to pay attention to the signs. You have to pay attention to what's going on around you. Like I wasn't happy at the situation, but I was very grateful for the help I received. So I left. As I left, the car was acting stable, then it started acting up again and the car died on me again. Before it died on me, I was able to get to a good place. I started to see it acting up and twitching, just going all over the place. So I got to a place where I felt comfortable. I was like, okay, well, at least I made it here. Good, good, good. So in the process of me getting there, I asked somebody for um, a jump. The person said I would, but I'm, I'm working. I can't do it. I said, all right, I asked another guy. He helped me out. My, my, my um, battery, you know, went off again I just said you know because sometimes people will help you and you don't want to like test their patience you know because they're being kind especially in this time whereby like everybody's worried and nobody's really trying to come in contact with people because what's going on the person asked me you got gloves I said yes you know and I was very grateful you know because people are scared and I don't blame them people are worried and want to stay safe you got to so I'm, I, I wasn't taking everything to heart I was just paying attention to what was going on around me you know so he helped me but damn, my phone was dying. I even texted 911. Um, I'm grateful to that operator that sent the police officer out to help me. You know, that officer came, he tried to help me too. The car came on and went off again. Then out of nowhere, somebody at the restaurant saying that we were having difficulties, the person just walked up to me and tried to help me too. You know, and took his time, took his time. And we got the car to start, but then it did the same thing when I started driving off and went off again and he seen me instead of him to be like oh let me leave that person I tried to help <laughs> let me go back to what I was doing he came back and stayed more with me and tried to help me in that process and I was just like wow this is great I appreciate this this is real so the person really took their time to help me so in the midst of going through certain, certain situations that are very tough and that are hard or difficult or you don't understand instead of you cracking and being upset and saying why me Ugh. why is this going on and getting all angry and stuff you know be grateful for the things that actually are coming your way pay attention to the people that are actually trying to help you who didn't have to help you the car broke down we needed to push the car he started pushing a, a man from out of nowhere came and started pushing and helped them too so i was very grateful for everybody that helped me i was very happy that man didn't have to do that. And sometimes when people help you, they expect you to give them, you know, some type of um, coin or token for what they did, for whatever good deed or for whatever aid they, you know, lend it to you. You understand? It's happened before. I've asked somebody, let me jump the car. And they said, you got cash? And I'm just like, okay. And I'll give it to them, you know, like, thanks. You know, but that's usually something I would just do. I'm not going to really request money from somebody for helping them because I'm helping you. I'm not saying pay me and I'll help you do something. I've, I've been there, it happens. So I feel like that's good karma coming back from me helping people times or by even me, I didn't want to do it. But I was just like, it's a good thing to do. So let me do it. But you have to be cautious too and safe in the process of helping certain people and always remember and be alert to certain situations. Cause there's been times people have helped people and they've, you know, suffered because those people probably had a bad intent. So pay attention to, you know, where you're doing it, your situations and, you know, the time you choose to do it you know always be safe that's my reminder to you but don't crack in certain situations pay attention and do what you have to do and be grateful for the assistance or the guidance that you get and learn from everything that happens if you can't change something don't be angry don't crack over it just go through life after walk home but it was worth it at the end of the day if you like what i'm talking about i got more on the way Hey, if you like what I'm doing, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bells to see more content that I drop on a daily basis. Also, if you have any suggestions or advice for me to improve my content or topics to speak about, make sure you email me at ngns1ent at gmail.com. Thanks for your time and continue watching. Demand!